day seven. That was a bit like deja vu. Another beautiful sunny morning in Ireland. West Cork. Going out of Baltimore. Lovely village. Lovely place to spend the night. It's great boat trips you can take to Shirkin Island. Cape Clear. And lots of places to stay. Had a fantastic pizza last night in uh, Jacobs. Tuna pizza. I've had plenty of tuna pizzas before. It was the first time I had tuna steak on the pizza. It was delicious. I'm not putting myself under pressure today. Heading towards Bantry, towards Langaris, maybe Kenmare. But I'm going to enjoy this day in the sun. No pressure today. Lovely view of the village of Baltimore behind me there. <clears throat> Some big hills ahead of me today, I, I believe. But sun cream has been applied and I'm ready for them. Feeling good, feeling strong. Day seven. Lovely start to the day on quiet roads coming out of Baltimore. Lovely scenery already. Another day taking in the sights of the wild Atlantic Way. Gone to a slightly busier road now. I'm heading towards Bantry. Still in County Cork. First drops of rain. A couple of hours into day seven. Hopefully my luck hasn't run out. Got caught on my first rain showers there. They weren't too heavy, but it got windy and very chilly all at the same time, so it wasn't very pleasant. But I stopped now, and I've stopped in Bally the Hub and uh, for a badly needed break. I keep an eye out for this uh, cafe in the news tonight. Hudson's Whole Foods, Bally the Hub. The Dublin cyclist is about to murder a cup of tea in there. A cup of tea and a muffin. Well and truly murdered. Bally the Hub, West Cork. Now on to Bantry. We made it to Bantry. Boxed off a serious hill there. On the road between uh, Bally the Hub and Bantry. Wind in my face as well. It's a long, slow, steep incline. I had to get off the bike with uh, about 50 metres from the top. No harm admitting that. But I made it anyway to Bantry. Looking lovely, a bit blustery. I'm going to head into the town now. And it's lunchtime, I'm going to get myself some lunch. Then back on the road. Bally Licky, County Cork. I'm on the road to Glengariff. Just left Bantry behind about 20 minutes ago. Bally Licky. Spectacular scenery. On the way into Glengariff. Gareth, famous for Garnish Island. You can take a ferry to the island from here. It's also pretty much a starting point for the Beira Peninsula, which is an absolutely stunning loop. I'm not going to do it this time, I've done it before, but uh, one of my highlights of uh, anywhere I've been to in Ireland is Dursey Island, right at the south of the peninsula. You take a cable car over to the island. And on a nice day, it's an absolutely beautiful place. So well worth checking out, you can use Glen Gareth as your base. For me, I'm going to have a break, I'm going to have a banana, I'm going to have some water. And then I'm going to head to Kenmare. I believe there's a huge climb ahead. About 28 kilometres to Kenmare. One last push for today. This climb out of Glen Gareth nearly has me. It's just constant incline all the way up. The only thing keeping me going just about is the stunning scenery. At least there's very little traffic as well, because the road is very narrow. <sighs> Need to break the back on this one soon. No wonder I'm struggling with this one. Look at the valley I've just cycled up through. Can you see the road winding away down there? 
this has been tough. But look at the views I'm getting. Only problem is the road is still winding upwards. Gotta be near the top. So after nine kilometers of almost continuous climbing out of Glen Gareth, I think I'm finally at the top of the pass. And look what I've got here, this tunnel to get through. And I think it's all downhill on the other side. I also think this is the border between Cork and Kerry. So let's see what's on the other side. Whoa, this tunnel is dark. Glad I didn't meet a car in here. So anyway, this is it, crossing into County Kerry. So Cork, thanks for the few wonderful days. Kerry, let's see what you got. Well, that was a bone shaker of a descent from that pass. But I made it into Kenmare. I still had about 13 kilometers to go when I got to the bottom of that uh, descent. But I made it. I'm in Kenmare. I'm showered. I may have a little cheeky snooze before I get out to explore Kenmare. Uh, but that's me done for the day. Another big day in the saddle, but all done. I must look up the, uh, the amount of kilometers I did now as well. Tough day, but it's all done. Talk to you again tomorrow.